part 3 of how to make a survival game and this part I bring you some bug fixes, new animation system, new enemy, some coding and a lot you need to learn and I'm just gonna kill this guy over here I didn't like you, I don't like you, I don't like any of you oh that, no ha ah. Oh, it looks like, oh my gosh. Really? First thing, grab this, make it bigger. So I'm just going to show you a finished version of the game. Super. So I'm just going to run over here to the edge where I have created it. And as you can see, there's a new purple guy who seems to be running and chasing me. Okay, this is the awesome part. He blows up as well. And now watch this. Ready? This is his attack. Boom! And I die. It's amazing. It's, it's how... He rolls he just kills people like that boom Whoa. um i've added a bit of delay time so you can actually see um the animation uh but what we're gonna do is actually disable the movement of player once he has attacked so you see the awesome animation but you can't run away because then it just looks weird um so let's get right into it uh first of all i'm just going to go back to untitled because this is the one that wait, this is the one that we're modifying today this is the one that i'm modifying um and you're you're gonna get a new asset but so what we're going to do first is go head over to the FPS controller and it looks like the camera was ver um, upside down so when you look into your scope here, you look into your scope and um, when it was before it was actually upside down so you could see this play upside down and um, it wasn't proper so to fix this I click on the camera and change the rotation to 90 on the x axis and 180 on the y axis and that should solve your problem all right now to create this guy uh we're going to go into the brute okay wait no 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 wait we're going to go into the asset store warrior pack bundle warrior warrior pack bundle and download the free one which is the first one and import it into your project once you import it click on this folder click on brute warrior mechanism animation pack free and click on prefabs and drag in this brute okay what you're going to do first is delete this warrior animation demo and I haven't done that on him yet, have I? Yes, I have. Um, so first, after that, is we're going to create a new animator controller. So write new and then write brute contr controller with no space. And now go here and drag the brute controller in here. But actually, we'll use the default one, given. So change that we don't need to change that so make a brute warrior animation and this is not yours so when it starts it would actually be nothing and we'll fix that soon and I'm going to delete these three and we will see that later for now I'm going to populate the brute warrior here and um, so we, by doing this we're going to add a box collider and we are going to edit it using unity 5's awesome new tools um, I'm just going to go here okay so I'm just going to edit it okay uh, a bit forward and um, if you haven't got unity 5 you won't be able to do this you should be able to do it some other way um, maybe unity will automatically detect it but it didn't for me so you might have to use the size and uh, like yeah, when why am I not using the size here yeah, let me just am I, no, mind I'm not gonna do that because that's just too complicated um, 
I'm just gonna drag it over here and that's that's all that's pretty much it um and just add a little bit in front because we'll need that and create a rigid body now for him and uh rigid body box collider and a meter that's all for him now so what you're gonna do now is go into one of your capsules uh your older enemies which is this guy uh this guy click on him and copy the ai and game object and drag it into your brute warrior and now they belong to him now click on ai click drag brute warrior and drag it into the place where it says body and now drag it into the player find area in the sensors and now go in the just check yep and now go to game object and click the arrow click on ai click brute warrior and do the same here and drag it into the mount point as well and now make the range four yes it might look like a bit bigger than you should do it but um since the animations uh his hands get longer when he attacks so the range needs to be a little bit higher okay now go into your that is it okay now we added the AI the next part of this is to create the animation yes okay now go into your prefabs on brute mechanism and click on the brute controller thing okay brute warrior animator controller I couldn't really see it um, but no mind. So what you're gonna do now is you have a blank uh, slate. So you're gonna drag your entry over here, and now we're gonna go click on animations, and we're gonna click on brute run. We're gonna add that here, okay? So the guy is gonna start off idle, okay? Um, no, he's not gonna start idle. He's gonna start running as soon as you detect him. Wait, no, he'll always be running. So don't worry about that. We'll add like sensors later and now add an attack function all right now what you're going to do is click on this and right click and make transition into attack and make transition no wait sorry i made a mistake okay now duplicate this using command d or control d and um run over here and make transition and from run zero to make transition okay and now we're gonna click on this arrow wait no first before we do that we are going to click on this plus arrow here and click on boolean bull and make sure it's should kill okay type in should kill and make sure it's unticked now click on this arrow over here and click plus on conditions now click on this and t turn to should kill so attack will only play be played when should kill is true so should kill is that and we have to go to brute warrior now and untick apply root motion root motion is basically when you run it will add speed so the animation actually makes it run um, so when we have the AI speed and the root motion, it goes super, super fast, which is really, really annoying. Okay, uh, now I'm going to cross out the parts that I am going to teach you how to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is create a public animator uh, and name it Anim. Okay, now we're going to get the Boolean from the animator, we're going to go int, jump, no, not jump, I should say, attack, hash, equals animator, dot string to hash, and we're going to call it should kill, which is what we had on the animation, and it should be the same, and uh, now we're going to go down here, make sure you're saving every few seconds, and we're going to go down 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 and we're gonna here under should kill if should kill equals equals true anim dot set 
boolean to jump hash i mean why do i keep doing that attack hash to should kill so if it should kill is true it's true and um it destroys the removable object in two seconds so if you had like one or zero change it to two now okay um yes okay that's that's pretty much it that's all you have to do in that yes okay now that's all i have in my checklist and let's see it at work and make sure you click on ai here and before we start click on ai in our brute warrior animator click on that and click on the one that you had assigned to Brute Warrior 1, which is this. So the name of this is Brute Warrior 1. So click on AI. Brute Warrior 1 is the one that we need for our one. And now we're going to delete this original Brute Warrior. And we're going to see this dude at work. Oh, wait. This is due to the box collider and we're gonna shoot him okay seems like he's not registering any hit boxes wait so let's go to the brute warrior and first fix up any there we go fix that up so it actually looks like he's walking and um what's on here wait Wait, wait, wait. What? 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 Oh, I'm looking at I'm going lucky because if that happened, I would not be happy. And um, rigid body, discreet, and we are gonna freeze the rotation of this. All right, what have I done in here that I haven't done in that? Why? Okay, wait, let me just. Why? Who is. Okay, both of you. What? Oh, wow. Okay, something is wrong. Something, something, something is really wrong. Um. Oh, dumb, dumb me! Just gonna delete you. What? What? How stupid can I get? Add the health manager. Go into explosion. Add the explosion. No, no, this is unacceptable for me. I'm always so. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, dude. Dude, what? How? How did you? You just went so fast. I think it's root, root motions off. What? happened run run little boy run there we go there we go we have done it people of earth and um that concludes the video for today um that was just a quick mechanism tutorial for you guys um since it's only 13 minutes let's add another character instead of a brute warrior let's make it hmm uh we had a ninja we have ninja let's add all of these guys let's let's make this actually interesting okay so instead in here mesh no wait how do i how oh, i want to change this way no, no, that's dumb. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, okay, that was easy. If this works, honestly, if, if this works, Oh, it's working, but no animation, obviously. Yeah, this is dumb. Uh, we need to, we're going to recreate some stuff. 
uh, so let's just delete you delete you and um, let's just recreate the ninja it's gonna be simple can't get any simpler than the brute warrior Eek. Um, okay let's add our box collider Um, in the next episode, I'm going to we are we are going to be creating maps in Blender for our game. I didn't want to do that this because I needed to gain some knowledge before I start that, and I just wanted to make some mechanism tutorials with you guys anyway. Um, because mechanism animations in Unity though are so much fun. Um, can't get any more fun than this. All right. Now, rigid body. This time, H Man, I'm adding you. H Man. What type of name is that? What was I thinking? Okay, freeze vote. Freeze vote. Apply root motion off. Controller. Ah, uh, where is it? Root. Here we are. And we're using the same as Brute. We're using the same as Brutey. Animate. That's what I forgot before. Normal, change it to animate physics. Um, now, instead, we're gonna go this, this, wait, no, this one, this one, this, put it in here. Okay, AI, ninja, game, ninja, wait, what am I doing? What, am, what, brother, brother. Brother, brother, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Something really wrong. Hold up, hold up. There we go. Hold up, hold up, hold up. See, 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 see. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, okay, ninja, 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 ninja. There we go. There's one that we missed, and that's our ninja complete. Oh god, the ninjas! Oh, oh! Now that, my friends, is so what do you think you're doing, son? Do you think you're? Are you kidding? What did I do to you? I killed you. I killed you. I, I, I'll delete you. I don't like you. Um, part three. I'm just gonna drag him back in, and I'm gonna add the H man to him. I will never forget that. <laughs> Stuffing up for the eighth time for part three. It's not a good feeling Honestly, okay. Oh, there we go. No, stay away from me. Stay away from me. I want to see the ninja I want to see the ninja attack So I'm just gonna go here brute warrior. I'm gonna delete you for a second and Go do you do your thing Wait, what, what are you doing? I think they I think that, damn, um, I think that the box collider is too big, so I'm just gonna go edit it a little bit, and actually scale it down just a lot, um, we only need a box collider, so he doesn't go through people, but the sword and stuff really doesn't matter. We don't need the legs. Okay, here. This will keep him on the ground. Don't worry. No, 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 no. Uh, let me just kill the brute warrior. Oh, you just made that explosion though. Made him fly. Go do do your thing. Why? Why are you not working? <laughs> Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I think I have. Ah, here it is. Here's the thing. Here's the problem. Here. No. No. I'm, I'm so. I'm bad at life. Yeah, I'll give it that to you. There we go. You go flying again. Come land right next to me. Boom! Oh my gosh. Did you see that? Whoa! OMG, he just threw his sword at me. Oh my god, that, 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 my friends, is amazing. Okay, army now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Two on two, let's go. 
and um i'm gonna make this at least 20 parts long because i'm wondering i'm making like heaps of islands and maps for us to use and uh i was also wondering if we could make like allies ai to be your team and actually help you um to do what you want to do and we're making cutting ah uh, damn oh i didn't die okay yeah we have a glitch there we'll fix that next and um ah there we go and i also did promise you that we can't move once it attacks us so what we're going to do is if that happens removable object dot get component um f first oh yeah wait this is going to be a little bit more complicated than normal mono develop wait no sorry what am i doing mono behavior get component fps con First. isn't it like first person controller we have to go to our first person controller and get the script over here yeah, where is it ah damn i lost it never mind um go here copy the name of this go back to this script and go to the shoot kill checker and first person controller the enabled equals false and now you cannot escape wait no i did it wrong it's the other way um two over here one over there there we go there we go there we go sir um do 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 so now when I get attacked, I shouldn't be able to move away. Oh, there we go. I can't move now. And I get attacked and I die. So um, we're adding islands, allies, hunger, health, everything. And um, blowing up stuff in the air. Oh, I couldn't do it. Am I, I'm not MLG enough to do that kind of stuff. Let's, do, let's see if I can do it. Oh, that could be a serious issue. Um, and we're gonna have like building, we're gonna be able to build houses to survive the night. Uh, I wanna get attacked by this guy so much. That is sick. Um, and we're adding much, 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 much more. And I also made an intro that you might, guys might see on the beginning of this video and I was learning Blender so much yesterday and I made this intro just for fun in a few minutes. Um, it's adding music, it's got music soon, and it's on the beginning of this tutorial, so, um, everything's coming tomorrow, and I will upload every single day until we finish, and, uh, hope you li guys like the series, if you do, please subscribe and like, it helps me out a lot, and, um, see you next time.